We're going to be palpating the muscle quadratus plantae. Quadratus plantae is in the second layer of the foot. It is going to be an assister of flexor digitorum longus. So much like flexor digitorum brevis, which was inserting in the first layer off this medial process of the calcaneus, quadratus plantae is just a little bit deeper than that. And instead of just the medial process, it originates on both the medial and lateral process of the calcaneus on that plantar aspect. So because we are trying to slightly differentiate from flexor digitorum brevis, Previously, I was resisting on the middle phalanx, and this time I'm going to be resisting on the distal phalanx. So I'm going to ask him to try and curl his toes just like that. Good. And then hold that for a second and then relax. So you have this muscle that's very similar to flexor digitorum brevis, however, it's just a layer deeper, and its insertion is actually on the tendon of longus. So I'm just going to bring his foot slightly to the side here. We are trying to follow flexor digitorum longus into the foot. It's coming in behind the malleolus of the tibia, and it's gonna enter into the foot just a little bit proximal to this navicular tuberosity. I'm gonna ask him to curl his toes. Good, and relax. And it's gonna be crossing on the plantar aspect in the second layer, heading in the direction of the fifth meta parcel here. So if we had an approximate like so, this is the tendon of flexor digitorum longus, then our quadratus plantae is originating off that calcaneus going along and then inserting into that tendon. So let me just try to show that. This was the tendon, the muscles going in and inserting into it. So as your ankle is kind of stationary and you wanted to curl your toes, this muscle could pull back on that tendon, directing its pull towards the calcaneus, giving you a little bit extra strength and a different line of pull, versus the longest tendon is gonna end up having a little bit more of an inversion plantar flexion with it. This one's gonna also be similar to flexor digitorum brevis and pull the toes almost straight back. Again, not an easy differentiation between flexor digitorum brevis and quadratus plantae, other than I was trying to use more of a pincher grasp for the first layer, and I am trying to sink down to the second layer while again resisting on the distal phalanxes of digits two to five. That's gonna conclude our palpation of quadratus plantae.